Illinois is also battling one of the highest unemployment rates in the nation. For more on the economic toll from COVID-19, Tom Gimbel, CEO of the LaSalle Network, joins us this morning. Good morning, Tom. Good to be with you guys. Good morning. Yeah, we appreciate you joining us. So, uh, so many instances around the city from restaurants to other types of uh, storefronts. People are saying that there's just not many employees out there, that, that businesses are struggling to find people to work. Uh, walk us through where the numbers are right now. Well, there's a real interesting intersection we're at. We have the return to the office based on what the mayor and, and the governor have said. It's okay to go back to, to work and office, back to the office, I should say. Then you have a very low unemployment rate. Then you have people who are getting compensated by the government for what all the complaints are about, that people are being paid not to work. You have that challenge. And there's still a portion of people that simply don't want to re-enter the workforce, either because of fear of COVID or the, the, the point of they've gotten used to not going into the office and they don't want to. And people don't want to talk about it, but that's a factual situation. Mm -hmm. Tom, let's talk about the loop. I was in the loop about a month ago, uh, parking garage almost empty, which is so unusual to see. Uh, still not a lot of people walking around. How do you convince people that maybe are somewhat hesitant to come back to the loop to those commercial spaces that these companies have rented? How do you convince them to come back? Well, there's gonna, it's really a leadership issue yeah. and a challenge. I, 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 we're, the word hybrid is what everybody's talking about, and that's going to be where companies have people in the office, perhaps Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Monday, Friday, work from home, something along those lines. And there's a lot of going from CEOs and heads of HR, there's a little bit of follow the leader. Companies are waiting to see what the huge companies do. And when we hear about Morgan Stanley and JP Morgan and these companies bringing people back, that will start to see companies follow. The real um, point of return, not point of no return, point of return <laughs> will be Labor Day. You're gonna see a lot of companies and most employees coming back at least two to three days a week post Labor Day. And I understand that some businesses may offer employees a grace period of sorts. What might that look like? So that's what they're doing now. So the majority of companies, and we work with over 3,000 companies in the greater Chicagoland area, what the majority of companies are doing are saying, from now until Labor Day, you're gonna come in one day a week, maybe two, the offices are open, let's start transitioning, right. get your daycare taken care of, or your dog sitter, or whatever you need, and then come Labor Day, it's gonna be more of a mandatory situation and that's gonna start seeing things pick up. The real challenge though, Lauren, to your point about the loop, is that we've seen the restaurants go out of business. Yeah. We've seen in the, in the downtown area, we've seen the, the sundries or, or uh, retail stores, uh, the bodegas, so to speak, that have gone out of business. Those types of things aren't gonna be coming back for a while and that's gonna hurt a little bit. I was wondering, Russell, too, about the commercial space and, and perhaps companies looking in the future and saying, hey, we don't need these huge retail, uh, not retail, commercial spaces. And for example, in the neighborhoods like the Loop, do you think that that might be a possibility where we've seen so much growth in certain areas, uh, especially with Google being down there? Yeah, so so the, the initial concept was people were saying, companies were saying, this is terrific. We're not gonna need as much retail space. In reality, companies are also seeing that innovation happens when people are together. Yeah. So yes, there, there is a truth that there's 6 million square feet of, of uh, sublease space available. However, it looks like more and more companies are realizing it may not be a really, uh, a greatly reduced footprint for what they're gonna need. They're still gonna need 85 to 90% of their space because they want people in the office at the same time. Time. Yeah, so gotcha. I don't think that we're going to see a huge transition. My own belief is that about 18 months, two years from now, it's going to look a heck of a lot more like 2018 and 2019 than 2020 in the offices. All right, Tom, thank you so much for joining us. For more information, go to LaSalleNetwork.com. Appreciate you being with us. Thanks, Tom. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Hey, Paul. Hey, good morning.